General Assembly approved civil unions in Rhode Island earlier this year, and a local gay couple entering into a civil union will be lucky enough to have First Lady Stephanie Chafee perform the ceremony. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has more from the South County Mobile Newsroom in Narragansett. Lynn McKinney and Ron Margolin of Narragansett say they've considered themselves married for 32 years, but now they're about to make it legal in Rhode Island. After 32 years, we're going to grab what we can get. And they've asked First Lady Stephanie Chafee to perform that ceremony. She was approved to do so by the General Assembly. It is the first time that the General Assembly has approved a civil union ceremony request. Part of it was to say thank you to the governor for his long support for the gay and lesbian community. At the last minute he was unavailable, um, but Stephanie said that she would do it, so we're delighted. The couple says they've been friends with Stephanie Chafee for years. She's been uh, so active in HIV AIDS work from the very beginning. Um, she's been right there all of the time. And while the couple does wish gay marriage was legal in Rhode Island, they say some of the protections that come with the civil union are far more reaching than when they had their commitment ceremony back in the 70s. It was a furtive little event, actually. I mean, it was scary. There were no protections in place for gay people, certainly not in employment. We were both at the University of Rhode Island at the time. Um, and I felt comfortable in the environment. A lot of people knew that I was out, but um, you don't quite know what's going to happen if there are no legal protections in right. place. In lieu of gifts at the ceremony, the couple has asked guests to make a donation to a scholarship fund to go to a gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgendered high school senior who wants to attend URI or Brown University. And that civil union ceremony will take place two weeks from now on November 5th in Newport. I'm Katherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.